I traveled to Sri Lanka in April 2022 for 18 days amidst an economic crisis, fuel shortages, power cuts, curfews and political unrest. We were repeatedly stunned by its natural beauty. In a country the same size as Ireland, the variety of landscape was overwhelmingly beautiful. This is incredible. There's just nothing else quite like it. This is like a postcard. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Immersing ourselves in new experiences also meant sampling the local cuisine. Thank you. Actually, like they're all eating with their hands. We're gonna have to eat with our hands. We've been given this plate. There's no menu. Everyone just gets rice and curry. <laughs> Thank you. Scotland. Try a bit of the dal with the rice. Oh, that's nice. The man asked us if we wanted more rice, which is very kind. And all the curries come from those little pots. Everyone's just sitting, eating with their hands. Yeah, they, they gave the white girls the spoons. <laughs> the bill has come. 620 for both of us. How much is that? One pound fifty-seven. Which is but anyone who has ever been travelling will tell you that it's mostly about the people. This is the standard of Sri Lanka in my opinion, with the Sri Lankans overcoming any adversities and crises that come their way. In the last 20 years alone, they have faced civil war, natural disasters and the more recent political unrest. Their resilience is something I have taken away to apply to my everyday life. Sri Lanka is a roller coaster, so buckle in and enjoy the ride.